What's going on everybody? This is Frenzy Rumble with another cool tutorial I um, stumbled upon this morning. Um, just wanted to share it with you guys. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial, but this one's actually kind of neat. Uh, this is a great way to add rivets to your custom action figures or models. Um, here are some of the supplies we're going to need. Um, a good straight ruler. This one here is a right angle, but it's got nice and it's got on it. Then you're going to need the part you're going to put rivets into, which uh, in this case we're going to be using an Omega Supreme foot that I had extra. Uh, you'll need a sharp pencil. Uh, I prefer, if you can, get a mechanical pencil. It seems to be more precise. Uh, the key here is precision. I can't stress that enough. The most important thing when doing these rivets is precision. Um, here I've got a Zappa Gap glue. It's uh, a super glue. It's really great stuff. I highly recommend this for any type of customizing work. You need a set of um, snippers or wire cutters, whatever you want to call them. Um, you need an X-Acto knife and you need pins. And then pins uh, you could get at any kind of craft store. Uh, these are quarter inch by um, number 20s I believe. Um, depending on the model you're doing will reflect the type and size of pins that you're going to want. So basically, and then you're also going to need your rotary tool, in this case I have a um, Dremel. And then just to leave proper or extra precaution or uh, precision, I have a, um, this is a, uh, a, I forgot what they're called. It's, um, it's for making panel lining and um, I'll remember the name later. Anyway, you start off with your piece. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to align exactly on the piece where you want your rivets to be. And in this case, uh, I'm going to space them out about a quarter of an inch apart from each other. And you're going to get your ruler on there and sh make it perfectly straight. I can focus this in here. And what I'm going to do here is, um, it's kind of hard with the camera. line it up exactly where you're going to want the rivets. Then I actually take a, take the pencil, draw a straight line. This just keeps me, uh, keeps everything perfectly straight. And then from there, I'm going to mark each increment where each rivet's going to go. So in this case, they're going to be a quarter of an inch apart from each other. Also check to make sure that where the rivets are going to end up is symmetrical. Like right now I have it so that this foot is an inch and a quarter wide, but I have, um, four rivet or five rivets going to be marked out but they also sit about an eighth of an inch away from the end so this way it's symmetrical uh, when you have it all marked out I actually did this ahead of time when you have each one marked out you're going to take a pin or a, um, an exacto knife and you're going to pretty much hit each one of those points perfectly straight and perfect and what this does is it creates a little bit of a pilot hole for your drill And then from here what I did is I took a pin and I used the wire cutters and I snipped the head off the pin and I actually made a drill bit out of the pin. And that's in here very tightly and perfectly straight. And then from here, you're going to drill out each one of these holes. And when you drill these holes, you have to make sure that your drill is going in perfectly straight, uh, perfectly level. If it's not, you're going to have problems. So I'm going to just drill these five real quick. And you're going to wipe away the excess. Now you got to make sure that your drill bit does not pile up lots of melted plastic because once it does that and you get to say your fourth or fifth hole you could see here if it could focus of course it can't you can see my holes actually got larger as I went on that's because there's melted plastic on the drill bit what you want to do is every two or three rivets clean off the drill bit I'm just doing this quickly for the sake of the video and then from this point you put that aside get a couple pins ready and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clip off the majority of the pin but leave a little bit of the pin on there as a guidance. I'm going to hold the pin, snip it away from you. You don't want one of these, one of these things darting at your eyeball. 
Um, get a couple of these ready. And then we're going to actually insert these into the holes that we just made. Now there's several ways you could get this, these pins or these rivets now into these holes. You can use, um, I found a good trick is to put a magnet on the end of a stick or even magnetize the end of a, an X-Acto blade. That kind of was helping me pretty well. This blade right here is magnetized. And um, basically from here you can just take a little dab of glue, and I'm talking an extreme small amount, and put it in each one of these holes. You gotta be very careful here where your glue's going because you know precision's key here. Then I'm gonna slide each one into their hole. Not like that. another one. Like I said, they're kind of hard to grab. Put it in the hole, pop it down so it's nice and flush. Let me go down to the next one. And you work your way all the way through. Now if any of your measurements or holes were off just a little bit, that's where it's going to hurt you. You're going to notice the inconsistency of the spacing between your, your rivets. You want to make sure these are going in perfectly flat too because if they're beveled up or skewed just a little bit, it's gonna really show when it's done. Let's grab one more here. And that's pretty much it. So these are actually embossed rivets now. And you could go to town with these. You could put these all around the sides here. You could put them wherever you want. Um, another cool technique would be putting them on the corners of panels, like on a um, military vehicle. They'll, they'll typically put one here, one here, one here, here, and here. And what that does, it makes it look like this plate was riveted right to the actual vehicle itself. So, um, you know, once this is dry, I would hit it with some uh, really fine sandpaper just to give a little bit of bite on those pin heads so that the paint could stick. And uh, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, any questions or comments, please post them below. Thanks.